Hello Leos, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing your reading for February. Let me get one last shuffle in here and I will do the eight card spread for you. So those fell out pretty early on. Okay, so strength card in reversed. Okay, the queen of pentacles upright, the eight of pentacles in reverse, the king of wands in reverse, the page of pentacles in reverse, justice card in reverse, and this is okay the seven of wands in reverse ten of pentacles in reverse okay due to all the reversals what i'm going to do is pull out two more cards i have ten of wands reverse and the eight of swords reverse okay so interestingly um we are in the time of aquarius and aquarius if you're looking at the zodiac aquarius and um Leos are 180 degrees from each other, so they're at the opposite wheel of the zodiac, okay? So um, for Aquarius, for example, the time of Leo would be very problematic for them just because there are a lot of oppositions, and then vice versa. For the Leos in the time of Aquarius, there would be a lot of oppositions in the sky, so this is not going to be the most... Um, um, conducive time for you to start new things and for you to um, for you to get others to come around to your way of thinking just because of the very strong heavy air and um, Aquarian energy okay so the way I'm looking at this spread in general I just feel that um, this is the time in which the Sun is furthest away from you your sign therefore your energy your stamina and just your ability to persuade and your luck in general, everything is just not um, is not going to pan out the way you would hope, okay? So it's going to be a very problematic month, but let's see the energies involved so that we can navigate this month, okay? So from the get-go, I do have the Strength card, and this is definitely your card. This is a, a Leo energy here. And um, it, the Major Arcana, the 1st to the 12th, uh, represent a sign of the Zodiac. This is your sign right here. And energy is definitely diminished, and also as well uh, your will, your um, your drive, and also your ability to get others to think your way is going to be greatly diminished. And I feel like in this in this situation, though, um, is not wholly a bad thing. I just feel that um, you're there are a lot of pentacles and a lot of wands here, so it's a situation where you have to compromise with people you have to work alongside a lot of people and they're not going to see things your way therefore you have to change your technique and your tactics in dealing with other people so the strength card in reverse is always is not like a a bad card if this is you know just dealing with the energy that you've put to on the table and that you've um, you've resorted to in the past to get others to see you I feel that you're going to be less pushy this month and if it's not coming from you then the external environment is going to um, is going to basically uh, hold you back from being very pushy and from uh, asserting yourself, which is not a bad thing. So, you know, with that Mercury in retrograde, we're going to have to re examine the things we've been doing and also going back to the drawing board and redo a lot of the problems that we've um, gleaned over in the past. So this is not a terribly bad thing to, to, to do, okay? Getting this card in reversed, okay? So um, for those of you who are single or coupled, there is a very strong um, energy. This is a very supportive person. It could be a male or female, an earth sign. So a, um, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a, uh, a Virgo. And in this situation, I'm sensing a very Virgo, Virgoan energy from this person. So male or female, that is the person to turn to for wise advice, for, you know, that boost of confidence, and um, for good counsel as well. Um, she or he is very level-headed, and um, she or he will actually, you know, give you some of the strength and the emotional support, just the virtue of their stability. They're going to help you through this time. 
Um, coupled with that, we have this justice situation. It is in the reverse, so um, it's not somebody, uh, or it's not a situation that is going to play out in your li to your liking. And I feel that a lot of people around you have been, um, have, have been like, you're, you've been fighting people around you, you've been trying so hard to get them to see your point of view, and it's not coming out that way, okay? This is also a, um, the card of uh, Libras. If there is an, a Libra in your midst, just know to ditch that person because they are not good for you, alright? So, um, if you're ever in a situation where you're choosing between a Libra and an Earth sign, uh, go with that earth sign. That Libra person is very flighty and is very dishonest and is looking out for number one. They're not looking out for you. Okay, so that's that's how that energy can play out. And um, I just feel with that Libra, they promise a lot. They're very childish and they're just very, um, uh, what is that word? They overestimate their abilities. So I just feel that they're going to leave you hanging. They they make promises that, you know, they'll be there, that they'll, um, they'll be your support system. And then through it all, they leave you hanging. Okay? So don't trust this person, that Libra person. Instead, choose that Earth sign because they're a lot more stable. And then also, um, yeah, like I mentioned, so... Um, you know, new money-making ventures are going to come in, so I need you to be very careful about how you um, approach this. If you're in a partnership, choose that Earth sign. Do not choose that Libra. Libras are actually very good with partnerships, but um, they tend to take the back seat and let you take over, and they leave you hanging. So they're very indecisive. They need that other person to be in a partnership with them just to... Um, just so the other person is like shouldering the weight and the responsibility. So it's not going to be a 50-50 type of relationship. They're going to just leave you hanging to fend for yourself. So, you know, don't take them at face value. They're not, in this spread anyways, in this, this situation, they're operating on the negative side of a Libra energy. They're going to leave you hanging. They're not going to pull their weight, okay? So please... Be careful with that. If you're ever in, involved in a relationship, a business relationship, a friendship, or any type of a transaction with that Libra, just don't um, don't trust them. Okay, so um, this is a situation here, and it's it's going to play out pretty much throughout the month, just because the energy is so centered, like right in the middle here, and um, it's a situation where you have to work at things. Okay. In the upright position, you have to work at things. In the reverse position, you are so frustrated because there are so many blockages and just annoyances that um, block your progress. So, like, it feels almost like every step of the way you have to consult somebody new. There are always, like, uh, roadblocks to your road to success. And I'm, I'm telling you now, you know, just February is when the sun is furthest from your sign. That's why your progress are not, um, you're not making consistent progress. You feel like all the roadblocks are the difficulties, and you just feel like things should not be this hard, okay? But um, hang in there. Things will pick up in March. And I promise you things will pick up in March when we're in a different sign. So it's just, you know, with the Aquarian energy, with Leo being the opposite opposite sign of Aquarius, even towards, like, um, the 20th of the month when the sun is out of the Aquarius or uh, constellation, things will look up for you, okay? So just um, take it easy. You know, have a sense of humor about it. I know these blockages are really frustrating, but um, it's just the way it is. And I mean, Aquarius will suffer in your sun sign. So, you know, in the time of Leo, in your time, the other opposite sign will suffer. So this is just the way of the universe to balance out, you know, um, to balance out the, the good luck and the bad luck. So just think of it as your, your run of bad luck and things will pick up on the 20th. And I know that's not the most comforting thing to say, but trust me on this. The sign opposite from you in the zodiac, for any sign, they will feel the frustration when the sun is opposite their sign. So this is just, you know, energy that is cyclical and it will cycle back around. So ride this month out. Don't get so 
frustrated, don't abandon projects. Please don't, especially in the time of uh, Mercury in retrograde, because you will really regret it when um, the, sun, the Mercury is out of its um, that shadow period. You will look back and with regrets, okay? And I know that things are going to be frustrating. You're putting in so much work and you're not reaping the rewards and you just feel like people are just all over in your business and overstepping their boundaries and just, it's a very frustrating environment. And I, I understand that, but you have to ride it out, okay? Um, additionally, so... Um, there is also a, this this person is an authority figure as well. So um, let me see the rest of this here. Okay, so I'm going to read this person as you because of the strong fire energy and it's between the two loads of just the frustration, what I call like, this is a load of frustration. This is also a blockages of, you know, manifesting, um, doing your work and, you know, seeing it pay off, okay? So um, this is going, I'm going to read this as an as a person, and this is representative of you, the Leos. Okay, so um, you're not operating at your best right now. Um, Leos are extremely honest, extremely loyal, extremely dedicated as well. And uh, I feel that wedge in between these two really horrible cards, well, not ho extremely horrible, Mon they're mundane cards, but um, they're just, um, I, I just feel like, you know, another thing, Leos are extremely courageous, too, and they have a great sense of humor about things. Or, um, fire signs, in general, have a very good sense of humor that gets them through life, but in this month, I feel almost middle of the month, still waited on to the end of the month. If this new information is coming in the end of the month, and I feel that the way the cards are laid out, it is there's a strong possibility that it is coming towards the end of the month which will allow you to to abandon it and find something else and get yourself into a, a new situation then definitely yes but I just feel from the first until possibly the 20th of the month you're not going to have full access to information until the last week of February okay it's just the way the cosmic energies are playing out right now you're going to be kept in the dark until the last week of the month and you're not going to have the full revelation that tells you who to trust, who to rely on, how to proceed, and what to leave behind. Okay? So I know that it's a very overwhelming and very intense, um, you know, three weeks, first three weeks of February that you're going to have to deal with. But please, please, please be patient. You know, strength is also about being patient, okay? Being very very patient and um, in action you know in action is as much is as powerful and as potent as action all right so just know that um, this energy is coming in early on to tell you to ride it out okay have the strength the fortitude and the patience to ride out this month I know it's going to be a very intense first three weeks and um, you're going to be very frustrated and you know with your work environment with all the people around you on top of that we have this family drama coming in as well so the ten of um, pentacles it's also you know a card of like total completion financial stability um, family stability emotional fulfillment and all of that like the whole nine yards it's a happy family life in the reverse position so the people around you that you deal with on a regular basis the people in your midst and this is a family situation they themselves are giving you um, are giving you a hard time so I just feel like in the midst of it all you're going to feel really really deflated but, okay, just have a sense of humor. Retain that childlike, that um, forgive and forget, you know, aura and just positivity within you to get through this month, all right? And the energy itself, I feel like towards the end of the month, you're going to have full information for you to proceed, and then you would know if you how you want to proceed, what you want to leave behind, okay? Um, it's still going to be a very difficult decision, but by that time you will have all the information that you need. Okay, so 
not an overly romantic month. Um, be very, very careful if there is that Libra in your life, okay? Be extremely careful. And um, if you make decisions, please, please, please wait until the last week of the month. And I know it's going to be grating on your nerves for the last first three weeks but the last three weeks is when you come to full understanding you have all the information at your disposal so you can leave whatever it is behind all right just ride it out and wait until the end of the month i hope um i hope you know i provided some insights to help you through this month i know it's going to be rough and i'm very very sorry that you have to deal with this really frustrating sets of energy coming through but um, just know that, you know, in your time, Aquarius would suffer. So in Aquarius's time, it, it's just, you know, the way the cosmic energies are playing out. You know, it's going to be hard for you just because the sun is furthest away from your constellation. And it's furthest away from you in the, uh, the wheel of life, is essentially. In the natal chart and in the wheel of life, okay? So please wait it out and hang in there okay hang in there remain um, remain still remain in this position like sitting down relaxing and retain your sense of humor as well because you have tremendous strength that you need to access to get through this month alright and um, please like subscribe and share and as well uh, leave me comments let me know how this plays out in your life as well okay I hope you have a wonderful February try at least and um, I will see you next week.